Hello, my name is James Berry. I'm a helicopter pilot and instructor working in the UK. If this is your first time watching my videos, I'm doing a series on the seven steps to become a professional helicopter pilot. And today we're looking at step five, the ATPLH IR theory and our building. So you've just completed your PPLH, your private pilot's license, and you're raring to go at your next challenge. You wanna take that leap into the professional world. How do you go about doing it? Well, you need to tackle these two tasks, the ATPLH theory and the hour building. Now, you're gonna do both of these simultaneously, okay? You're gonna be signing up to a ground school as soon as you've got that license in your hand and you're going to be continuing to fly to reach the minimum hour requirements for the CPLH practical course. And you're gonna do that to keep your morale up while you're studying. Okay, let's talk about ground schools first. And I'd heavily recommend who I went with and I passed all my exams first time with, which would be Bristol Ground School. I thought they were fantastic. They broke everything down and made it simple. Something quite arduous was in bite-sized pieces. So I couldn't recommend them enough. They have incredibly experienced instructors with years of real world industry knowledge and great teaching skills. They have an incredibly easy to use app and piece of software which breaks down the beast of the ATPLH into manageable and guided chunks. Their webinar library is stocked full of great lectures, all included in the cost of the course. They have their own question bank, which is about as a life, as like to like for the exam as I've ever seen. And it has these brilliant filtering tools where you can see the most recently reported questions and that sort of thing. It's a fair price considering what you get out of it. And they can do 100% online learning. It's only the exams that you have to take in person. Um, they have very kindly given us a discount code for this video. It's valid from the 4th of November this year for one month, and you can use it at checkout to get a discount there. Okay, back to some explanations. Why are we doing the ATPLH exams? What does that stand for? It stands for Airline Transport Pilots License. Now this is the highest grade of license you can achieve. Why are we doing that and not the CPL, you might ask? Well, there's a very good reason for that. There's, there's not much difference between your CPL exams and your ATPLH exams, okay? And essentially, long story short, for a little bit more work now, you can save yourself a lot more work down the line. I'm gonna put a quote from BGS on the screen about this topic, because they cover it very, very well, and they recommend that everyone goes for the ATPLH IR exams, because it also incorporates that IR element. Okay, so there's no easy way to put this, but these exams are hard. They are difficult, they're to degree level learning, although they are very manageable. They just require dedication. I did it, it took me about a year. Expect similar for yourself. You can get through it if you apply yourself, and anyone can, but it is hard. It represents a barrier to stop people just buying their way into being a pilot. So, what are the contents of your ATPLH IR? Well, BGS splits it into three different modules, which I'm just going to pop on the screen over here. Module one, two, and three. And they do this to break down the 13 different subjects that there are. Okay, I need to talk to you a little bit about how you actually take the exams, because there are some strange limitations and caveats to that you're gonna be having something called sittings, okay? You get six of those, and that is a period of time within which you can have one attempt at as many subjects as you want. And this is where the modules from BGS come in. So in module one, you attempt those four exams, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. And that leaves you with three remaining sittings with which to reattempt any other exams or anything you've failed up until that point. You can have up to four attempts at each exam and you have 18 months to complete the full set from the date of your first exam. Now, what happens if you bust any of these limits? It's not good. You do have to start again from scratch. 
Now, don't panic when you hear that because I haven't heard of anyone applying themselves have this happen to them. I have seen a couple of quite sweaty fourth sittings though, but those people still got through. Lastly, after you finish your last exam, you have 36 months with which to complete a CPLH course and apply for your new license. Okay, let's do a walkthrough of how to actually sign up to Bristol Ground School. Okay. okay, come to Google and type in Bristol Ground School. Click the first option. It's worth having a look through this website. There's lots and lots of inf interesting information on here. But we're at the moment interested in the ATPLHIR course. Take a moment to read through everything on this page. It's all very, very useful information about the course that you're about to undertake. Coming up here, some good to know information about the UKCAA and Austro Control, if you want the ERC license and some student testimonials. There is then here an overview about the course. And some more information about ERC and UKCAA and more course information down here. Once you're ready, press ATPLH course here. You'll be taken to the shop. You do need to budget for these extra items. And we'll talk more about this in a moment. You need the full course. You can choose whether to have the manuals or not. It all depends on whether or not you value that printed material. If all the same information is available through there software. We go to view card and here you can put in the discount code that Bristol have kindly given us to get yourself a very nice discount. Proceed to check out when you're ready. Right we're now going to talk about those extra elements that we briefly touched on earlier, those extra things you need to think about in terms of cost. So we'll start with the airway manual and the CAT document. You can get both of those from the Bristol store. If you have any problems with those, please give them a call. Next, you need a CRP5 flight computer. Get it from Pooley's or Transair. Get the CRP5 and not the one. I know it's more expensive, but it's much easier to use. You'll also want to get a 360 degree compass protractor and a geometry set for all of your chart work. I'll include this link here in my description. And this is just about some exam requirements and the like from the CAA. Worth a quick read through, it's not that much. Particularly, I'm showing you here the approved and prohibited items, specifically the calculators. So I would pick up a Casio FX A5. They're four pounds at Tesco's at the moment. Once you've got all that stuff, you're ready to go. Once you are ready to start taking your exams, there are extra fees for those exams, which are variable, whether it's CAA or EASA and accommodation fees to think about and traveling of course to take the exams it needs to be considered but it's a very variable amount as i'm sure you can understand okay now on to the fun bit the flying part the hour building part hour building is the most awesome time in your training and the reason i'm smiling about it is because you can do for the first time and potentially the last time unless you're completely minted whatever you want with a helicopter. This is the time to do those things that challenge you, that scare you a little bit, to do your ambitious trips to places, your overnights, to land in your pubs and your hotels and in your friends' gardens, okay? This is your time to do whatever you've ever wanted to do with a helicopter, within reason, and learn as part of it. I do recommend that you fly with an instructor roughly every 10 hours to make sure you're still keeping strict to yourself and you're still keeping those emergencies nice and tight. There's some important numbers that you need to know here and they're written there but I'm going to run through them and they'll be on the screen as well. You need 155 hours total flight time, that includes 50 hours as pilot in command 
of which 10 must be cross country. Now the cross country part is simple, just make sure you go on some trips, don't just always take off and land at the same aerodrome. Go places, please go places when you're doing your hour building. The reason you do the two side by side, the theory and the flying, is to keep you motivated. Ration that hour building and try to save at least 10 to 20 hours to do some intensive flying just before the CPLH course. Use these bits of flying and these trips and these landing at hotels to keep yourself motivated through this. The ATPLH theory exams can be a challenging time and can even give you confidence issues and make you wonder if you've made the right decision in going down this path. What I, the reason I'm telling you this is I don't want you to think that that's unusual to have those thoughts. We all do. It's not easy and you do need to buckle down and you do need to really, really love what you're doing. But I promise you it's so worth it when you get through it. It is so great. Learning with BGS was wonderful for me and I fondly remember all of my interactions with the instructors there and taking a selfie, you know, the obligatory selfie, when you finished all your exams outside, giving a thumbs up to the school. I want to talk very briefly. You, there's a point here where you can go down a UKCAA or an EASA route. Now, I'm not going to cover that in this video because it needs a video of its own. But if you do want an immediate answer to any questions about which path you should go down or if you should do both, check out the BGS website and I'll put some links in the description for you to look at that. Just to close off, remember that what you've chosen to do is really, really hard, but it's also awesome. And you're already doing a great job by being exactly where you are right now. Everyone struggles at this point, everyone, but there is so much help out there, you need only ask for it. Including me, I will help you, please, ask any questions in the comments. I love it when you guys engage with my videos. You can also get in touch with me through my socials on Facebook, Instagram, and I also offer lessons through Superprof. Please subscribe to support the channel. I do all this off my own back and I'd love to bring even more content to you. And please join me in the next video, step six, the CPLH or commercial pilot's license course. Keep the morale up. Keep doing what you're doing. Goodbye, everyone.